Hello, my name is Erica Jordan and I am the Hyperbaric Director and owner of Hyperbaric Healing Treatment Center. When it comes to the insurance conditions, there are 14 approved conditions that are widely accepted and treated as gold standard for treatments. The most common things that we treat here are diabetic wounds that do, are having complications, healing, uh, patients that have had cancer and have had uh, chemo and radiation that have issues from the chemo and radiation, either it be um, you know, uh, blood in the urine, blood in the stool, uh, a wound that's not healing, uh, breast, uh, bladder, prostate, different things like that. Um, besides that, um, there are crush injuries that have um, blood flow compromise that meet criteria that can be treated, reattachments of different limbs that can happen and you know, um, injuries and accidents as well. Uh, either cash or insurance, everyone gets worked up the same way. So we always make sure to be very thorough and if we can get insurance coverage for our patient, uh, we will definitely go that route first. So it can be very confusing when it, you're trying to figure out how many treatments do I need? And what do we take into consideration when we're determining this factor? Well, first of all, oxygen is a drug and it's prescribed by our medical director, Dr. Heron Sekorowski. So he puts the final say on how the patients are being treated. So how does he come up with these treatment protocols? These treatment protocols are based on science. They're based on also experience. So these patients that have these chronic wounds, we monitor them on like a 30 day basis and so we have to show okay is the wound size getting smaller is the infection resolving is it going away so that's why Medicare helps with the insurance companies um, as well and determines these protocols okay you've got radiation damage they'll give you 40 treatments and within that 40 treatments we'll see are you going to be healed well, you may heal before you may take longer so if you get to that 40 treatment we may have to do uh, another authorization to say okay these are the benefits we got from beginning to now here are our pictures here's our wound measurements here's all of our you know data showing that this is helping so that way we can justify going to the insurance and doing another 20. so again maybe at that 40 treatment the patient's wound may be very very small they may need may need a whole nother 20 set but that's why it's important for uh, medical professionals that are licensed and trained to constantly monitor these patients because yes we have protocols in place that are set by insurance companies and doctors and stuff like that but you also have to focus on the patient that you're treating because not everyone one's gonna fall in the perfect cookie cutter protocol, but those protocols help guide us to make sure we're getting the results. So we hope we can heal faster than longer. You know, no patient really wants to come to the same place for 40, 60, 80, 100 times, but if they've had these wounds for years, they wanna come because every day they come, that's gonna be closer to their healing. So again, um, we make sure that every patient that comes to us, either it's an acute elective surgery or they've had a wound for so long and their leg's about to be amputated. We take everyone very seriously and we give you the recommendation on the uh, protocols that we think are gonna get the best results, but yet we're gonna monitor you as we go throughout your treatment to make sure we're getting the best results as well.